No code just keeps getting better and better. We can now build an entire SaaS product, including membership, subscriptions, gated content, all using one unified no code tool. This is big news for upcoming SaaS founders who don't program. Last year, I showed you how to create a SaaS only using no code tool. But the problem is, we had to use a whole stack of different tools to make this work. And it required quite a bit of glue and duct tape to keep it all together. What if we could slice away most of this tower and build it all with one tool instead? As it turns out, we can. Webflow recently launched memberships in public beta, and this is everything we need to create and launch a micro SaaS using one single no-code tool. And it's so cool! This basically allows you to create a full and secure user authentication flow, manage paid subscriptions through Webflow's existing e-commerce solution, and create custom gated content for your users without having to use anything but Webflow and a Stripe account for payment. Let's consider this idea. We want to offer course platform as a SaaS. We already have a small network of creators who will upload courses regularly, and we want to give users access to this platform through a subscription. There should be two plans, a regular plan and a premium plan, which gives you access to longer and more detailed courses. The user should be able to pick a plan when they sign up. We can now do all of this with Webflow. We can create a basic login flow where users can sign up, and we can create separate access groups, which give different groups of users access to different content. So let's take a look at a Webflow site. You now have this Users button in the menu, and by clicking this, we can enable memberships on our site. We'll get a warning since this is in beta, but once we enable this, we will get a section that reminds a bit of the CMS where we can manage content. In this setup guide, we get a full breakdown of things we need to go through. Let's go to the e-commerce section and set up our subscription packages. The product type is a membership. We'll call it Learner. And we can give it a description and upload images if we want. Under Billing, we'll choose Subscription. We'll set this to $9 a month. And as we can see, Webflow does require us to connect a Stripe account before publishing this site. So you'll need to set up a Stripe account that you can use to handle payment. But it's super easy. You can connect it under Settings in Webflow. We'll quickly set up a second membership called Premium, which is $19 a month. Webflow really managed to make this a super smooth experience. So not only do I not have to worry about user authentication and payment, which is something that needs to be super secure, but I can also manage my plans and pricing for the SaaS within Webflow's e-commerce section. Super cool. So now that we have our plans ready, we can set up two access groups for each of these plans. And we're gonna map each of them to the memberships we just created. And here's the cool part. Because the premium plan should have access to everything on the learner plan plus everything on the premium plan, we can just associate both. There we go. See how incredibly easy that was. We didn't need to write a single line of code. We didn't need to create a separate account on member stack. We didn't need to set up anything in Airtable and we didn't need to glue anything together with Zapier. Now, here's where the fun part begins. Let's head back to the setup guide. We can see that Webflow wants us to design four different pages here. One for signing up and signing in, one for the user's account page, and one for showing access denied if you're trying to show a part of the app that you don't have access to. These are utility pages that Webflow set up for us, so we don't have to worry about the functionality. We just need to design them. If you bought a Webflow template, chances are it included the password page. To keep the styling consistent, I suggest simply snatching the styles from this one. The access denied page we'll just leave as is for now. And the last one is the user account page. Let's just give that one a small brush up as well. Awesome. Our basic membership system is ready. Now, let's set up what the users are actually signing up for. The courses. But before I do that, let me quickly introduce the sponsor of this video, Tiny Kiwi. TinyKiwi is a lightweight design tool you can use to create amazing visual creatives in a matter of seconds. It's like Canva, but way easier to figure out. Take your image or screenshot, resize, drag and drop, add text and a background. And there, literally in seconds, and it always ends up looking super professional. It's free to use, you don't have to sign in, literally just go to tinykiwi.io and start using the editor. If you want access to more advanced features, it costs $9 a month. That's it. Okay, okay, I have to tell you something. My team and I were so impressed by this tool that we 
bought it. We literally acquired it and integrated it into our other SaaS, FeedHive, which is a social media management tool. So here's the deal today. Go to the description and find the link and the promo code I've added there. This will give you 25% off on the first year on any FeedHive subscription you want. And then we'll give you unlimited access to TinyKiwi for free. Believe me, they play so well together. With FeedHive's AI tools and TinyKiwi, your social media content will never be boring again. All right, back to the video. Let's sum up what we've done so far. We've enabled memberships on our Webflow website. We've set up two paid plans for our members. We mapped two access groups to these plans. And we'll get back to why that's important in a moment. And we designed the sign-in, the sign-up, and the user account page. Now, we need to give our subscribers access to the courses that are available on their plan. We'll do this by creating two CMS collections containing the courses that's gonna be available on each plan. We'll call this one learner courses, and we can add any fields that we think will be necessary here. All courses will have a name and a slug, which is basically a link, but we also want to add a thumbnail, a description, and a URL to a video on Vimeo. This is gonna be the actual course. Let's create this collection, and then duplicate it, and call this one premium courses. For now, the collections will be identical, but we could add fields for things like quizzes or FAQs to the premium courses if we wanted to. Now, here's the important part. In Webflow, a CMS collection page will be created for each collection. And we can now limit the access to these pages by using the access groups we created just before. So if we click the settings icon for the premium courses template here, we can now restrict the access to specific members, which in this case would be the premium access group. And we'll do the same with the learner courses. But here, we'll allow members on both access groups since a premium member should also have access to the learner courses as well. There we go. These collections are now gated behind a subscription paywall. And now, if we have a page called Courses that simply lists all courses that we have available, we can keep this page public for everyone to see. But if you click a course and you're not on the right plan, you will simply see access denied. Now, this looks very dull, but this is an excellent opportunity to highlight all the benefits of being a paying member and prompt the user to upgrade. If you're signed in as a paid member, you'll get access to the course and the user can now enjoy the content they've been paying for. So this is how to set up a course platform as a SaaS only using Webflow. Remember, this feature is still in beta, so changes might happen. It's also a bit limited right now. For instance, you can only have a thousand members on your site, but the Webflow team has clearly stated that this limitation will be lifted once this feature is out of beta. And of course, it could be that you want to offer your users something more dynamic than courses, a SaaS that has more functionality and solves a problem that needs a more advanced interface and business logic. But hold your horses, because Webflow is soon gonna launch Logic, which is a way to add advanced automation and logic to your website. This is going to be a complete game changer. In the meantime, I highly recommend checking out this video up next. Here I'm going through eight no-code tools that you can use to build a website, web apps, mobile apps, and advanced automation. Be sure to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. I will see you soon for another video.